What I'm about to say might terrify some of you, but I need you not to panic, okay? For those who've been here for a while, the next words out of my mouth are going to strike fear in your heart. What if we build this like a theme park? Oh, hear me out, hear me out. It's going to be like Mr. Cringe, okay? It's going to be a lovely city for our people to live in. But when you look over at the to-do list we've, we've started putting together there, along with a bunch of other stuff I wrote down from the comments of last episode... We've got all the trappings of our Christmas theme park. In the comments, I've stolen a couple of fantastic suggestions, by which I mean these are my original plan, do not steal. Uh, number one, the restaurant should be called Stuffing Your Face, because of course it's Chef Stuffing. Number two is name the hospital, which I use in the loosest possible sense. Call that Blitzen's Fixings. Now, a lot of people point out in the comments that we're already going to need a hospital when everybody dies instantly from any amount of damage. They can still get the flu, they can still get plagues. So we do need a hospital, but as someone else rightly pointed out in the comments, it might just be better to build a funeral home. I want to say thank you for all the positive feedback on the last episode. It seems like everybody's really into the idea. For me, it works perfectly, right? Because I get everything I love, which is building a fancy base, doing a nice, fun, themed playthrough. But simultaneously, there is always a massive level of danger. It's all the best parts of Mushroom City with all the best parts of Jury Egypt, except kind of in a weird little epilogue series here. So here's the plan then. If we're going to do things like a theme park, which I think I've kind of got into my mind just based on, again, all the stuff we've got going on here, what we need is to do a little planning. And to that extent, I've put in the more planning mod, which is here somewhere. There we are, planning. Well, hear me out. We need an area for our, our, our citizens, the people who live here, our staff members, so to speak. We could just turn this area into that. I think that could work fine. I need area for expansions, though. So what I'm thinking is we'll have this area as kind of like the, the living quarters, the staff area, the doctors, the therapist for our people living here. Then we'll need somewhere for uh, like machinery, hydroponics, that type of thing. So maybe we'll reserve this area for that. Want it laid out like a traditional theme park, okay? Which means we have to go in... I guess we'd have to loop it because it's all going to loop back together, right? So maybe they could come through the staff areas and we'll kind of put that on theme. But we'll do what they do in Disneyland and we'll put up a fake wall where you can't see all the bits that are falling apart behind it. Allegedly. Please don't sue me. Here's what I'm thinking. We have a grand entrance down here. We have our gift shop. We have our restaurant. We have everything that we can earn money with because I've added hospitality. I've added the hospitality spa mod. I've added hospitality restaurant. I've added hospitality everything. I've also added the therapy mod, which a lot of people suggest in the comments as well. We want a path probably coming up around here, right? Maybe it goes, I don't know, somewhere over here, and then it loops back round. They can have a look through the power district if they really want to. I'm sure that would be a lovely gripping experience. Then they come back to the entrance, and then hopefully on the way out, they spend a shitload of cash. Now, if we're going to try and maximize that, what I'll need to do... I'll just go ahead and remove all the plans for the time being, just so we've got like a rough idea. I'll put down a path instead, like an actual two-block thick path, so we can see what we're... Kind of a rough idea. I will put a wall around the edge... But it won't be a wall for defense. It's not going to be like a military wall or anything like that. It's going to be a nice little wall to help guide our people. And to help keep any visitors that we get in the nicest areas possible. To spread happiness and joy. This isn't for profit, but if we're building all of this stuff anyway. And people are going to come and visit. And we want to keep everybody happy. Why not double down? Did I build this building? Sorry, it's been a couple of days since I recorded. Because I had my like actual Christmas where we opened presents and ate food slightly light but that's okay this was gonna be mixu's vets right let's throw you down some furniture mixu sorry you'll slip it on the floor right now that's that's not good enough that's unacceptable i'm not gonna have everything like perfectly square either because i think that'd be very very boring i like the idea of the sweeping walls so let's start with the plan for start with the plan for the entrance it's basically how i did jerry right we had like a little basic plan and then expanded it out there so that's what we'll do here too give me the line tool and let's say that everybody's gonna come in down here right so when they come in, they'll see our Christmas market. They'll see our lovely restaurants. And they'll say, wow, this place is a goddamn paradise. And then we'll swoop them up around here. They'll be down this side. Up around. Oh, wowie. Up here. Now, this, I'm thinking, will be a petting zoo. This area will be a big petting zoo. It's right next to Mitsu's uh, vets. That way, we can expand out the barn and get some more people in. And then this way, it'll also connect it to the road that's already there. Which will we'll, we'll maybe rebuild all this out of asphalt or whatever's already here anyway. Right? And then this will sweep over. And come into kind of our administrator district, okay? This is where if you get lost and you need to find your parents, this is where you can come and we'll, we'll, we'll try and sort you out, okay? Then we'll come down here, swoop round, swoop down, and then maybe uh, back up and across in here. Perfect. And then maybe, oh, I've got an idea. We could use the vehicles mod and we could put some, some lovely canoes in the river. And you can have a sail around. Oh, they can't go in deep water. Ah, oh, shit. What about the dinghies? Can they? No. Uh, have we got any sort of boat that can go in deep water? We've got terraforming. I could just terraform it to be, uh... We could just fill in the pool slightly, right? Shallow water? 
Yes, we can. Okay, that's great. Because otherwise, we're missing the entire middle part of the base, right? So if we go from here, and then we go like across and into there, and then up, and then through, and then kapow. That way, you get to see all the center, and you get to go on a nice boat. I don't know if the NPCs will use... No, oh, they, they can't use vehicles yet, can they? Well, that's okay. I'll just use the vehicles, and we'll wave at them. This is going to be a goddamn paradise, mark my words. So the wall around the edge, I guess I'll do with something... Uh, not a wall, a hedge. A hedge just to cover up the edges. I like that a lot. Here you go, an edge hedge. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Hello, mad elk. How many mad elk? Yeah, I was really doing the hedge. I thought I'd make it look a bit nicer. How many mad elk are we dealing with here? One, two. Two mad elk. No pressure, but this could genuinely wipe out the whole colony. So let's be, let's be careful. Let's be careful. This is a Christmas nightmare. Let's come back where we've got good line of sight on everyone. And then take it very, very carefully. We could hide indoors, okay? We could sit indoors and we could hide. I think we need to deal with the situation. Ah! Ah! Who? Uh, bubble. 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 Fire. Fire. Bubble. 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 Okay. 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 Careful. Careful. And then the second one, please. The second one, please. Oh. <laughs> Easy. There were a doubt in my mind. I thought I'd make our slightly nicer wall. I don't like how precisely symmetrical it is, but I can do something fancy with it afterwards. Let's just get the very basics down first. This will take them two seconds to build because each of these edge wall blueprints are to work. As long as we've got the wood for it, which we very much do, this will genuinely take them like maybe a couple of hours to build at most. Chopping down the trees will be the biggest pain in the ass. You know what we need? We need long range or fast firing weapons or both. Preferably both would be would be amazing. Just like an assault rifle would be good. Sniper, I could take the gamble and maybe give them half and half. Let's put down a machining table. Just just preemptively. Just preemptively for my own mental health. This series is amazing, right? Because normally the things that I wouldn't care about, like Manhunter packs, I, I sometimes I don't even leave the video. A lot of times I edit them out because, I mean, what are, you, what are you gonna do? We spend five minutes, some deers run up to the gate, we shoot them down, that's it, no one takes any damage. So I just skip over them for the most part. But I mean, this time a couple of elk could have very much got us killed dead. And especially consider things like friendly fire. All we've got right now are long range weapons. Long range area of effect weapons. So in fact, we got a machining pistol and an auto pistol that was dropped by those people that turned up. Let's at least get those equipped then, if nothing else. It's either that we use Christmas grenades or melee weapons, which is like the worst risk possible. It just, this is making me very uncomfortable. And that's a good thing. We shouldn't get too comfortable here in Christmas Village. Happiness comes at a cost. Maybe Santa's a monster? No, he would never. He would never. Santa's a lovely man. How dare you? You, you keep my wife's name out your mouth. How did I build a book pile if books require cloth? It must be dev mode. I mean, even though I'm doing a time lapse, that'd be very obvious. It must be dev mode. How have I done this? What? Wooden pile of books. Ah, you've got to build fake books, not real books, you idiot. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. I'm going to add smart building. Okay, I don't normally use it. It's TPS here. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it because you know what? This is a mental health hit. This is madness. This is making my brain itch just looking at you. Oh, God. Why have you done this? Here's another really cool thing I like about this. For me, the way I play, the way I record, it's much easier to deal with the consequences of... People going on mental break, the consequence of ignoring people and letting them work harder than it is to try and resolve the problem before it happens normally, right? In this situation, if I don't fix this before they break down and they go berserk, murderer, manhunter, even like the, the, the sadistic rage when you have people in prison, that's when people are gonna die. So this is when I really need to start solving stuff. What do you mean alcohol withdrawal, my man? Did Santa not give us... He gave us 200 beers and you're going for the chocolate. Just go, just go, just go have your beer. There you go, there you go, there you go. What is that from? That's from Lush, right? He adores booze and would rather die before giving up. Oh, it's sad. He got that trait after his, after his wife was gunned down. That's terribly sad, okay? But it is a core part of his character. Maybe with the therapy mod, we can solve that. Maybe we can we can get him out of this situation. Oh, he's still got the drug policies. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean to say one drink per day? One drink per day for everybody. Why not? Have a nice icy cold beer after all this work. That's not that weird, I don't think. I mean, I don't, but that's not that weird. Personally, I stand by the long, proud British tradition of not having one drink a night, but instead having 100 drinks on one night once a month. Just fucking go to bed, though. Oh, it's Mixu this time. What's wrong with Mixu? Hello, are you good? Where Rim Rim? I'm... What? Where Rim Rim? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Where in female apparel is minus five. Oh, you don't like your clothes you're wearing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take those off of you. No waifu. Constraining clothes. You're a nudist. You're a yeti. If you take off the clothes, that's like a plus seven boost immediately, right? Oh, much better. Awful bedroom. You've got a lovely bedroom. 
Is it really that bad in there? I mean, it's very cold, but you are also a Yeti, so I didn't think you'd mind that much. Let's have a look. Cold super tolerant. Motherfucker, what do you mean slept in the cold? Really, we need to move Mixer away from whatever the hell this is. Chelisi Perfection, Insectoid Worship. Apparently they also revere waifus, whatever the hell that is. And we can move them over to Christmas Worship instead. Though no pressure, I've got more reason than ever to build a temple, haven't I? To get the ideology room going. I feel like that's maybe suited to the mountain? I would love a secret base in the mountain, along with all of this, because this is going to be the front, right? This is going to be where people come in, they see Christmas Village, and they have a fun time, and we keep people's moods high. And then hidden away is where we'll have our secret Christmas operations for, you know, not necessarily evil, just the stuff we might want to keep away from the general public. Okay, I've got one. Stuff like the Mechanita building, where we can get those eccentric militers, and we can have a little toy army. Because if, if things really pop off, or like a safe room. That's a big brain play. I like that a lot. We have to be so damn careful. We don't summon any insects. And we have to be so damn careful. Uh, should we build... Let's build in this direction slightly. Because it's a bit more on the central part of the map. And let's also go for... Um, uh, like a panic room. Like a hospital center in there. Stop with medicine. Maybe even bionics. Although, if you lose a limb, surely you're going to die. How else could you lose a limb if it doesn't do damage? I don't think you can. Oh, botched surgeries. Oh, I never even considered that. They're going to be like murderous. Man, this is a whole new game. <laughs> this is a whole new, very scary game. Blitzen's back. Blitzen, hello, my friend. That's so nice. What did we get for that quest again? It was just... All right, we got Mixu. That's correct. Blitzen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Blitzen's so good at plant cutting. Oh, shit. That is like the slowest thing we've got going on right now. So I'm very happy to see that. How are you doing, by the way? Speaking of very happy... Like, really, really good. And what do we get if we, uh, if you succeed? Oh, God. I remember. We got the high mate. The high mate that I was going to turn into the therapist because they've got 15 social. Of course. An annoying voice, but they've got a great memory. They'll remember everything that's wrong with people, everything they've told them. They'll be able to empathize and put together a plan. Honestly, I think this quest is probably a shoe in so we should probably be building that soon. Uh, Slay so arrives in 21 hours. We should work on that hospital as soon as possible as well. Given that our people are very, very delicate. I mean, disease is going to work the same, right? But... I imagine we're going to lose a lot more people than usual. The last thing we want is people dying to preventable stuff. Oh, God, I know we're going to get another person. I'm not prepared for this. How's the hedge coming along, though? Really nice. Like, genuinely a lovely hedge experience. The path isn't quite ready yet, but that's okay. Chi Ch Chonyatis, my friend. It's time for you to go. I hope you've enjoyed your time here at uh, New Christmas Village, uh, at Cozy Town. I mean, he seems like he had a good time at Cozy Town. Didn't really do much besides sit in the hot tub all day. But to be fair, what else do you need in life? Hello, Kaylin, my friend. Welcome. Actually, perfect therapist because they also have all of the attraction bonuses and everything else going on. So this is amazing. I'm trying to think of a cat pun, right, for the, for the therapist name. And then I was like, okay, what about like therapist? That was the best I had, right? Because oh, cat, they're a, they're a high mate. I mean, they're not a cat because we don't have that mod enabled that turns the high mates into cat people. Because the high mates are base game Rimworld, by the way. No matter how many times I say it, people keep having a go at me for including it, even though it's from friggin' biotech. Not a cat person, but I'm going to treat them like they are. Okay, lay me out here. Instead of trying to rename the person to fit the therapy job, what if we call the therapist, get ready, feline fine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please, please. You don't all have to clap so loudly. Thank you. I think I am going to add the high mate mod, though, because then it makes them sexier and will make them better therapists, because that's what you want, a sexy therapist. <laughs> and we'll do anything except go to therapy unless that therapist is a cat person. Oh, my. You... Son of a bitch. I've been bamboozled. Capable of caring, you fucker. Doctor, child carer, therapist, nurse, surgeon. Ah, oh. Blitzen. Sweet Blitzen only has one social. Oh, for shit's sake. What about the Yeti? Can the Yeti be the therapist? <laughs> I've been tricked by this damn cat boy. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, what the hell am I going to do with you then? Negotiating, convincing, manipulating, leading, and cheering up others. I guess you can run the gift shop. Congratulations. God damn cat boys have my damn pants down. Not not in that way. What is this you believe in? Christmas? Oh my god, you believe in old Christmas. I I've had enough of this person already. Can I send them off? Oh, good. Okay. Well, I mean, this is nice that all the all the very dangerous wild predators on the map are decided to be a friend and not food. <gasps> my cat boy's freezing. Cat boy, go indoors. Oh, I say cat boy. Uh, 67. Cat grandpa. Go indoors, sexy cat grandpa. Here, go in the hot spring. Warm yourself up. Where Rim Rim? No. It's 6 p.m. Where Rim Rim? 
Any room rooms currently under your control may throw attention if they don't get their daily room room soon. If you murder someone because you haven't got room room, I will have you executed. We absolutely need to convert Mixu as fast as possible. Otherwise, people are going to die from a lack of room room. I cannot believe we've come to this situation. Where am I going to build? Oh, this is this is. Uh, just don't worry about that. Uh, where am I going <laughs> to? Where am I going to build my ideology room? Look, don't worry, don't worry. I've got this. I've got this. I've got a lovely, a lovely church for my people, and they can have Christmas, Christmas, Christmas good times. They can have Christmas good times somewhere in this base. Oh, whoa, whoa, hang on. Tropical Star Wars. More aesthetically pleasing, but also more fragile than regular wars. I don't care. We need aesthetically pleasing right now. This is a theme park. These places fall down like they're like they're built of nothing. Here, anti-chamber, and then that leads into uh, how do churches look? Do they have a tower. I don't want building a church. We would just because we would, oh Christmas doesn't mean that it's like has to be particularly religious. It's not. It's just a nice ideology room. Okay, get that out of your mind. Get that out of your mind. It's just a nice ideology room to keep everybody happy. Bear in mind, the nicer the ideology room, the happier everyone's gonna be. This would be fine. I can't build it symmetrical. That's okay. Symmetry is the death of creativity. Just ignore this. Ignore this. Okay, that's not relevant. It's like absolutely the worst building anyone's ever built. Okay, let me, let me give me a minute. Okay, I'm panicking slightly because I think the Yeti's gonna murder our people. <laughs> because of a lack of rim rim. No! That happened in... Well, I was going to say that happened in two seconds, but I mean, any damage is lethal, so yes, of course it did. <laughs> there was no way. Oh. Oh, Snowball. You've left behind a lovely snowman. Oh, you really did become Snowball. You son of a bitch. A predators are going to be the worst thing going. They're going to be the worst thing going because they don't pause the game. I can change that. I am God here. Gameplay. Pause on everything. <laughs> Every single thing that could possibly go wrong pulls that game. It's what? What? What's the frostbite? Yeah, I mean, I understand that. What I'm asking is, why didn't you die? I wonder if the way it works, it does maximum damage to a particular body part. And I wonder if combat damage is always lethal. Always goes for the head. Maybe frostbite is like my one get out of jail free card. Or maybe you'll just keel over and die. I haven't got any clothes. What am I supposed to do with you? Here, put on anything. Put this on. You are making this very hard for me. You're making this very hard for me. It's 8 p.m. Where's Rimmer and Mitsu? M M M Mitsu is about to freak out. And then we've also got a psychic drone. This is a horrible time. Why did I go so extra on this? You know what? Because they goddamn deserve it. On the plus side, they finished up here. I was going to build a little door that would let them through a bit more conveniently, which I think would be <laughs> would have been quite like, nice to put it in the first place, but never mind. Oh, and that means the hedge is done then. Ah, okay. They missed a little bit over there. I'll make sure stuffing gets on. You know what? I'm just going to do this now. Otherwise, Stuffing will probably walk all the way around to build that other side of the gate because exactly like that because that's what they do in Rim Rim. They're not very smart. This series is highlighting to me how desperate these people are to get themselves killed at all times. What? Oh, come on. I guess because the mod is called Combat Reduced, it is combat damage, which means, you know, 90% of the time we've still got to worry about that instant kill. But I wonder if that means medical surgery won't, won't be a problem. So say someone loses an entire arm to frostbite or some other, I, I genuinely can't think of any other non-combat based way you could lose a limb other than maybe frostbite. Makes any damage to health straight up kill everyone. Well, mod maker, you'll seem to have forgot about frostbite. <laughs> this, that's all the description is on Steam, by the way. So I have no other knowledge to go by. Okay, forget the church. This is life or death. This is life or death. Begin a role change. Who would like to be... Who would like to be counselor? I can't make the cat person counselor yet. Okay, we'll figure it out. Who's got the best social? It's got to be... It's got to be Sparkles. Oh, these tumbleweeds are really setting the scene. Very Christmassy. Perfect. Okay. Now, we use you to... I think we just got to hit him with the convert power. Uh, 90% if we go for Mixu. 273%? Why? Using a convert ability. Sparkles converge power 375. Certainty loss from Christmas 300%. Oh! Kind gives it 200%. Oh, shit. Get, get roasted. Get absolutely roasted. Welcome to Christmas, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Do a 360. Come back. Let's make you... Let's make you the new kindness enforcer. Because you're such a lovely, kind cat fella. Trust me, audience. Let me explain for 10 minutes why making this cat boy our counselor is integral to the story. Okay. Okay, okay, and now we set up our regular roles, and then that should keep everybody a little bit happier. Sparkles, congratulations. Sp Sparkles, congratulations. You can be head elf. Good shit. Are they upset that their arm, like, We're dead tired? Minus 36. Oh. Okay, okay, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I'll change my mind. No social fights. No social fights. Go sleep it off. 
Sleep it off. Bauble, where are you going? Consuming chocolate. Uh, this isn't very appropriate, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll let you have that. I'll let you have that. There you go. Sit down. They're having candy canes. This is very Christmassy. This is very, very Christmassy, and I'm very happy with it. Oh, Bobble also got some Christmas presents, apparently. How are you doing now? Kill first. Minus 18. Oh, the therapy will solve it. As soon as I find a therapist who gives a shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, Kaylin. Kaylin Heathcliff. Amazing. Uh, you can be negotiating. Yes, because you're going to run the gift shop. I like that. And we've also got an expertise for Mitsu, who can... Sorry, Mitsu, who can be very good at ranching. Animal gather yield and animal speed. Then I can get the milk that I finally need to cook my goddamn Christmas cookies. Where are my Christmas cookies? Oh, God, there's some... What? Who <laughs> can work of art was probably created by God himself? <laughs> Make murder cookies. No, 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 no. I'll take the murder out of the cookies. They'll just be extra delicious cookies by the time I'm done. Oh, you do not! You've eaten one cat today! Okay, okay. What do we do in this situation? Stuffing. Okay, I'm trusting stuffing here. 16 shooting. All combat damage is lethal. Please. Okay. 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 Please, please, please. No, 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 no. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, okay? I'm building this lovely thing with these lovely walls. Lovely walls on the inside, okay? And then we've got the very fancy flooring. I'm making it the best thing possible to give the highest conversion chance. There's method to my madness. Otherwise, all I've done is invite a murderous yeti here. What's wrong with you? Hypothermia. Ravenously hungry. Okay, go and eat some food. Oh, a Christmas party. Stuffing. Oh, you legend. We might actually get some time to, to build up some mood, build up some friendships. Everyone's going to be happy. Catharsis. What the hell happened? I got to unbottle my feelings. I didn't even notice, so it must have been a sad wonder. Well, nobody's dead. That's the important part. Artie's been called off. No. No. Because Kaylin vomited on the floor. You shitbag, you ruined the party. Conversion, random conversion. Kaylin tried to convert Mixu to his own ideology. Mixu was convinced and changed his ideology. I didn't check what Mixu was at. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we don't need to build this bloody church anymore, so you might as well tear all that down. Oh, god damn it. I mean, that's great. Don't get me wrong. I'll hold to Marl less room room, in theory. Oh! Oh, my god. I almost just killed some of my people. I was so careless in my desperation to finish this bloody ideology building, I almost crushed Kaelin. Holy shit. Okay. Careful now. These are difficult times. These are difficult times. These are difficult times enough. What's wrong with you? Toxic build up extreme. I hate this toxic fallout. It's driving me insane. Get rescued. Get rescued, stupid. On the plus side, at least one tick of... Oh, God! Toxic buildup doesn't kill our people. Uh, rescue, 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 please. Fuck you, toxic buildup. You're ruining my life. You're actually ruining my life. And especially now that they are not just standing in doors all day building floors. What am I gonna do? No, no, this won't do. This won't do. Go to the spa. Go to the spa. Lie down. Go to the spa and lie down. Blitzen's got the right idea. Bubble Blitzen. Oh, fuck. This is impossible. This is impossible. I'm just gonna have to lock them indoors. I'm just going to have to cut my losses, and we're just going to have to make sure they stay only indoors. Uh, okay, firstly, you're under a roof, so I'm not happy about this. Secondly, what? Oh my god, they're right there. No, this is so difficult. <laughs> this is impossible. They're going to kill my people. I can't stop them. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, we got the drop on them. We got the drop on them. Let's go uh, ice wall right there. Sick kid. Oh, but you actually shot them afterwards? God damn, that bullet flew slowly, didn't it? So I just kidnap if they can and leave. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I think we're just gonna have to go. Nice. Nice! Oh, oh back off, back off, back off, back off, oh, back off! <sighs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> Thank you for the medicine. It was all over. I thought it was all over. To be fair, it might still be over unless we rescue these people quickly. They're under a roof. A toxic fallout doesn't hurt you if you're under a roof, right? Get away from toxic sources. Am I misunderstanding how toxic fallout has worked? I knew I wasn't going mad. I knew I wasn't going mad. As long as it's roofed over, we're fine. I mean, I did build all of these pillars, so it kind of works aesthetically. People are very hungry, okay? My people are very hungry for a delicious snack, so I'm trying to do what I can. And what I can do is uh, fishing. Fishing and only fishing, but apparently it's not good enough. How does that not count as roofed? Have you just not built the roof in that area yet? What are you doing? No, I see the problem now. I see the problem. That's very, that's very, very funny. That's, that's hilarious. Why are you fishing on the freaking... Ugh, you people are insane. Oh, well, this area is unroofed. I guess I'll just stand here. You fucking idiot, Bauble. Die. Okay, I would never. This is a good guy. Good guy playthrough. Good guy playthrough. Doesn't mean I can't be angry about it, though. 
This damn game's gaslighting me. It turns out they're just picking the one fucking unroofed area. Never been more irrationally angry at this damn game. Great. Are you under a roof? We finally learned our lesson. You're not getting toxic buildup anymore. I know how this works. There we go. There we go. We got a little toxic fallout. A little toxic fallout food dealt with. You got all the way up to extreme. Jesus, that was dangerous, eh? I can't. I, I mean, what would you want me to do here? What do you want me to do? You want me to magic crops out of my asshole? I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm expected to do here. Cold snaps, eclipse, toxic buildup. I hate Christmas. Should we, should we just like sack this off? Like, all this get in the bin. We're living in a, a hyper mountain facility. Forget this shit. In fact, this is the perfect time to be digging out the mountain, mate. So what am I doing? What am I doing? You're good at mountain. You're good at mount mountain? What? You're good at mining. <laughs> You're good at mountain. You might be. You might be. I'm not watching you while that happens. Uh, let's go. Spend a loud area. Area one. Let's go. Uh, okay. You're allowed to book it, right, directly from here to here. Okay. And then you can go here. No no further. And then you're allowed to go uh, here. If we just do that, they'll run in the fastest, most optimal route in theory. Bulbul's probably going to pass out before he gets there. Sparkles might be building a roof, though. Oh, yes, that might help out a little bit. We could expand this roof out. I hate it. You're ruining... The whole point of this is for me to have a nice aesthetic base, and now you're throwing fucking roofs up all over the place. It makes me very, very angry. It's like the most important moon managing series I'm ever going to do. Here's, our, a, a, here's, a, uh, here's a psychic drone. By the way, you can never grow crops and you can only fish. Oh, and now that you stand outside all day, here's a toxic fallout. And now you've dealt with a toxic fallout. Perish. Just perish. Oh, my God. This is a Christmas miracle. New lovers, could you pose for my artwork? In private, instinctively seeking a mate, Kaylin has formed a psychically bonded romantic relationship with Blitzen. Ah, oh, Blitzen will benefit psychologically from the connection, but if they are separated onto different world tiles, both will suffer psychic stress. If one dies, oh Christ. <laughs> if one dies, the other will be driven to madness. Well, luckily, no one's going to die in this series, are they? That's good. Um, my bedroom is so conventional. What's your opinion of yours, Sparkles? How's everyone getting on? Are we all friends? They're all friends. This is great. I mean, they're not they're not friends, friends. Uh, not super friendly with Blitzen, not super friendly with Kaylin, but Blitzen was off the map for a few days and Kaylin's only just joined us. Everyone else, though, seems to be getting on pretty goddamn well. This is look, Mixo is friends with actually everyone. Every single person here. This is a goddamn Christmas miracle. Okay, okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Get rid of that. Get rid of that shit. And then we put down a lovely, comfortable bed for you both. Um, like, uh... Oh, God, those need advanced components. No, thank you. Uh, let's just throw down a regular, plain old, lovely bed. Quilted double bed. We need cloth. A regular, lovely double bed is exactly what I said. Very briefly, we're going to unrestrict you because then everybody has a bedroom, which is very nice because we're running out of bedrooms very fast. Kaylin and... <sighs> I hate you. I really hate you. What do you mean ideology for bids? Why is loving not free and approved? What are you talking about? This is... Spouse only mild? Oh, did I say spouse only mild? Clearly I meant free and approved. It's fucking Christmas. Maybe literally. Here, take this bed. Piss off. That's my gift to you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Go lie down. Go lie down. Have a good life. And then we can put Mixo in here. Because... Oh, no. Wait, we genuinely didn't have enough bedrooms. Oh, well, that worked out quite well. Mixu was sleeping in the freezer because Mixu was a yeti. Although right now the freezer isn't a freezer because uh, it got really warm very fast. Uh, here, here, I can solve this. We've, we've got the power grid, don't forget. We just found some components up in my hideous mountain base. Six of them, in fact. <gasps> Who for? Bauble, Bauble, you have been good this year, Bauble. Congrats. We should really open some of these presents soon. Big, enormous pirate bitch. Turn that spewer off. You are taking years off my life. Oh, they're a melee character. Oh. Well, then your time has come, my friend. Boom. Boil and die. Goddamn Santa loyalists so desperate to end our Christmas cheer that they decide to smoke out my entire city. And only my city. Just general sparkles getting things done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He doesn't want to think about the war. It's just sparkles now. I'm sorry. That's on me. Oh, Christmas is returning. Christmas is returning. It'll take a while to get back here, but now we haven't got any toxic fallout or cold snaps or any other apocalyptic scenario to worry about. I thought we'd finally grow some crops. A lovely farm of suka cuka pongas. Shit. I hate that. I hate everything about that. Got Christmas flu, okay? The last thing I need to try and say is super cucumber. Cucumber. I don't need this. I'm just normal men. I don't need this shit. Uh, you know what? Let's expand that out. I think I'll look a little nicer. You gotta make aesthetic farms on top of everything else, right? I'm not an animal. Fire, 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 fire. Stopping. 
What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Because if, st if stuffing gets hit by a single a single flame, he's gone. Stuffing dies before I've even built ref restaurant stuffing. What do I do? I guess I send everybody in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, uh, take a door off. Take a door off. Take a door off. Sparkles. Sparkles. Take a door off fast. Because if the heat gets so hot and they die to the heat, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We'll go. Okay. Maybe I maybe I panicked. Maybe I panicked. How do I stop fires? Wait. There is a way. What is this? Stick bog. Oh. <laughs> I was like, hang on a second. My uh, freezer seems to be filled with swords. No, it's a it's stick bug. Uh, fire foam poppers. Fire foam poppers. They exist. Give me some of those. You know what? Fuck you. I'm building them everywhere. I'm building them absolutely on every flat surface. While we're building buildings out of wood, I feel like I have a moral duty, okay, to be slapping down fire foam poppers just about everywhere they will fit. Oh, it's because of the bloody random chance mod. There is a chance when cooking a meal, instead of turning it into a delicious meal, they'll turn it into a fireball. Could also be the fact that I've got a campfire in a wooden room. Yes, maybe that too. Maybe that is the case. <laughs> I'll admit, okay, there hasn't been any progress. There has not been any progress on my to-do list. We have no health therapist because my therapist ended up being incapable of caring, which uh, is kind of a minimum barrier to entry. A therapist needs at least that. So that's kind of ruined that one. Houses for every elf. Uh, we'll build them proper dedicated houses one day. Everything else is ruined. We don't really need a hydroponics district when we've got available farms, but it's so cold pretty much 90% of the time. I don't think these farms will grow anything. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I built a lovely hedge, even though it's not that nice because it's like perfectly symmetrical that we'll deal with. And then I planned out a hideous mountain base. What the hell did I do today? Just kind of panicked over very, very minor things. You know what? We're, we're testing boundaries. We're learning our limits. We're learning how our people are or are not going to die. And I'm getting comfortable. And this is going to be a beautiful Christmas city, and maybe many people will die, but that is a price that I'm absolutely willing to pay. You gotta, you gotta break, break a few omelets to make eggs. Or so, make a, I, well, I can't even think straight. I got Christmas flu, and it's been getting worse the more I've been recording. Thank you to Lee Zero, Drew.com, Lupus, Vladislav Lazarov, Under the Couch, Gilded Cobalt, Couch, Eckley, Zachary Whitsker, Critical John, Cuddles, Hawk, C120, A Million Violets. I think you're a liar. Solothal, Noira, Phasimus, Mask of Loki, Will, Milky Milk, Bigsby, Unwise Plains, Desi, Alex Dimitri, The Chicken, Somber Apoch, and Nikolai Nielsen for their support. The executive producer tears over at Patreon. Ah, oh, my face aches. Thank you to Elizabeth Lagrosse, Evan Stockdale, Roman von Klein, Bulplop, Sabas, ADD Ape, Baconomics, Janosch, Fedor, Ace of Hearts, Mal, What Would Stalin Do, Armor, Elkel, and Blemished Halo 2. Uh, I think I might die. 